We now come to a very significant event in, uh, in our conference, the uh, Ian Jacobs oration. We're very pleased uh, to have had as one of our presenters uh, also at this conference, Pro Professor Judith Finn, uh, his wife. Um, but before I introduce our orator today, I would like to invite Tony Ahern from St. John's, West Australia, to give a reflection on the life of Ian Jacobs. Please welcome Tony Ahern. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, it's, it's a great pleasure and honour to, uh, to have this opportunity to, uh, uh, to just share with you um, my relationship or, or my knowledge of, of, uh, of Ian. Um, and I, I, I'll, I'll share with you, I guess, a bit of a personal journey because uh, Ian and my story was a personal um, journey. Uh, we, in fact, uh, became friends, met and became friends back in 1975, and uh, we were both 16-year-olds. And uh, we, our paths crossed because we were cadets with St John Ambulance, although Ian was very much south of the river in Perth and I was north of the river. We'd been in that, in that space for a little while, but in 1975 we, uh, uh, we came together and got to know each other. It was funny <clears throat> because back then as 16-year-olds we both knew we wanted to be paramedics. Um, and, and that was a passion that both of us had and, uh, and we were absolutely driven with it. Um, so my friendship and professional relationship with Ian uh, spanned 39 years and uh, in, in that time um, Ian in many ways was, was um, such an inspiration uh, in, the early, in, in the early days, all, all through his career, but, in, but in, the, in the early days I could see Ian was better clinically than me and so he, he inspired me uh, in that regard. And uh, one of the things he did, we were quite competitive as well in those early years, and one of the things when we were, were both young paramedics, um, Ian, whilst he was working full-time uh, as a paramedic, also did um, his uh, a full-time um, degree and uh, nursing degree. And, uh, and, and then went on to do his, his PhD. And it was that, seriously, it was that that inspired me to do um, my business degree and, and, and ultimately led me on a career that, that got me to, to the CEO at St John. Um, but Ian as a person, his, his characteristics, and we've heard sort of some of this talked about in, in some of the sessions, uh, and Julie touched on some of it this morning, um, uh, his, his profession, his, his career, his, his wanting to help people and, and particularly later on the focus on uh, out-of-hospital cardiac arrest um, was absolutely in his blood. Um, it was something he lived, it wasn't just uh, when he went to work. Uh, he was an incredibly committed and determined person. Uh, he was very passionate um, and he was also very funny. He had a, a great sense of humour. and. Uh, um, but Ian, like all of us, um, Ian had some flaws um, and, uh, and, and we used to have a great time at work um, reminding him constantly of his flaws. And the biggest one was Ian was never ever off his mobile phone. He was always late for director meetings and he was always being interrupted. <coughs> and I, I've shared this with a few people. When Ian died, and of course it was, it was something that was incredibly tragic, very sudden, and we were all greatly shaken by it. And, um, and, and so we ended up, his, his funeral service was held at St John Ambulance, big marquee, and uh, incredible turnout, which was the, the, the respect that people had for him. And one of the things, I wanted to play a joke, and I wasn't brave enough on this occasion, but I did the eulogy, and I wanted to have a mobile phone in the coffin and have it ring halfway through the eulogy, but I just didn't quite have the courage. But that would have been so symbolic, and particularly of, of our early years where we were both a little bit irreverent. Um, Ian's contribution to out-of-hospital cardi out uh, cardiac arrest, uh, again, is just... Um, sensational, the, 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 the impact that he's had um, in this space, um, the, the, his PhD work and um, you know, many years as the, uh, as the chair of the Australian Resuscitation Council and co-chair um, of ILCOR, um, it's, it's, it's amazing. Obviously the part that I knew most 
uh, intimately was, was his contribution at St John Ambulance. So he, he a paramedic career, then went back to nursing, um, was instrumental in setting up the emergency department at Swan Districts Hospital. Um, and, and through that period of time where he wasn't employed by St John directly, um, he was a key, the key player in establishing the, uh, the, the research unit out at Curtin University, um, which was a, a, a partnership with St John. Um, and, and absolutely the driver behind us having, as I think was Judith mentioned yesterday or someone did, uh, that uh, we, we had the first cardiac arrest registry um, in Australia and Ian was absolutely instrumental in that. One of the other things that, uh, that, that he was great with though, um, it, because of his passion, um, Ian absolutely um, was, was committed to um, wanting to see change within, within health, within ambulance. And so when he was in the role of our clinical services director, some people in the room might know, one of the things that St John did was um, we, we started this unit called the uh, ASCU unit, the Ambulance Surge Capacity Unit, which was a, a unit based inside a hospital to help with a surge capacity and dealing with the ramping issue. And, to, and, and Ian played a key role in that as our clinical services director because um, it, it, it wasn't popular in, on all fronts. Um, we were stepping on people's toes um, in terms of what we were doing. Um, but it was Ian's absolute commitment uh, to help us through that journey um, that was a really important part. So today, St John Ambulance, uh, again, some of you might know, um, we actually now, um, we, we acquired a health service last year, so we run um, four primary care clinics and now three urgent care clinics. Um, lots of collaboration with our primary health networks that, uh, that Martin was talking about. And those things that are happening today absolutely were influenced by the learnings and the things that, um, at ASCU of, of which um, Ian was, a, uh, was a, 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 key, a, key, uh, a key player. And so, again, and I probably haven't done justice to it, but one of, one of the great strengths, Ian was very much about us not just having an ambulance view of things. Uh, we had to have a health view of the world. Um, and, and Ian was a real driver of that. So I think um, for the, this oration today, um, the, the fact that the topic um, is, is better, th uh, better, through, better together through collaboration uh, couldn't be a more fitting topic uh, to honour the, 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 the contribution that Ian made. And, uh, and I know if he was looking down, um, he'd have great pride to see just where the, the issue of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest has got, the establishment um, of the, the epistry um, and, and this kind of real feel and real momentum uh, with collaboration. So um, to, uh, to Ian for that contribution, thank you.